Hovey's Knives of China ships first bulk order. William Hovey Smith, 2017. I'm the owner of a new company, Hovey's Knives of China. And what we do is mix a bit of history and cooking and make some really unusual and functional kitchen knives. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And I'm also the owner of a new company, Hobie's Knives of China. And these are six of our knives that we're shipping out today. These are our medium utility knives, a very, very useful shape. And they are identical knives uh, meant to go out to a family. Now these knives started in concept almost two years ago with this. I'd gone to China and I'd seen some of the original knives and had a chance to actually handle some. And I decided that, yeah, we could take those basic concepts and make modern steel cutlery out of them that would be as good or better as any in use today. And so this is part of the result. And we have a shop here in Sinusville, Georgia, and all of our knives are actually made right here. Although the company's name is Hobie's Knives of China, uh, we do not uh, import anything uh, in the way of parts, etc., 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 from China. As a matter of fact, we would hope to export to China. Now, Paul Hoyt is our bladesmith, and he's going to tell you a little bit about the details of how these blades are made. Hello, I'm Paul York. I'm the bladesmith, Hobie's Knives of China. And first I wanted to show you the handle material that we make this particular set of professional cutterly out of. This is burlap soaked in rosin. It shines a finished product very nice, functional, and not so slick that you'll slip your hand, but it's, it's, it, it works very, very well on these particular knives. We have other handle materials, but we, the customer ordered these, so we put the burlap handles on them. This is a blank cut from Atlanta water jet that we cut. This is your basic blank that we cut. That's what that looks like. It's stainless steel. We put the edge on it. And then, as you can see over here, it's a heat treating oven. We heat this. Um, the, after we put the edge on and it's very much harder than your normal run-of-the-mill cutlery from a, a department store or what have you um, it's harder a lot harder our knives are and so they're stronger and uh, they keep an edge longer and much sharper than your average knife like this. This is our finished product. It has Hobie stamp on it. It's polished to a mirror finish. The handle material's been polished. It has brass pins that really make it look really nice and very functional. And so we, we polish it up and there you have it. Paul was characteristically shy when he was talking about both his own accomplishments and our knives. Paul has more than 25 years experience in knife making. These are some of Paul's knives. He very often handles in bone or antler and does stippling work on the blades. And I uh, have less, but I have made knives and was taught by Murray Carter among others. And we produce between us some very interesting designs. We make a good pair. I'm the design guy. I'm the one who comes up with uh, sometimes outrageous concepts. And we produce the knives. Now about these particular knives, this grip here, this oval, is designed to fit in the hand here so that this knife will not slip. This unique style of point allows the user to take it and grasp it like this 
and do very delicate cutting. The blunt end allows you to use it as a scraper. So you can also reach over and stir a pot. These knives were designed originally to be multifunctional instruments in China. And even if your spices got lumped up, guess what? You put them in a bowl and you use it as a pencil. So this is really a multi-purpose cooking tool rather than just being merely a knife. Now I also produce the Billy Joe Rubido line. What we do is we take kitchen cutlery and we remake it. Uh, these may be simple, like we just put an edge on this and uh, polish the grip a little bit. This edge was completely reground, a new grip put on it, and uh, made a much more functional knife than it was originally. Uh, the edge on this one was terribly, terribly twisted. And you can see a YouTube video about this, by the way. This one had cast plastic grips on it. And I have replaced them uh, with coca boa wood. Uh, made a beautiful little grip. And a very functional knife, particularly since I have redone the edge. This one. We made it for a very small chef. Uh, she's a very diminutive little gal. And so uh, we made the handle to fit her. And this is a very effective uh, slicing knife. It's a sow belly slicer. And sometimes we run across blades that are so soft, even though they're stainless steel, that I don't think they'll make a decent knife. So what we've done with this, this was once a long slicing knife like this, and we've made a pan scraper out of it. Now, use it to scrape that hard residue out of the bottom of your cast iron frying pans, and this steel is so soft, it will not scar or scrape the bottom of your pan itself. So uh, again, we took a, a very battered and beat up knife and made a useful cooking implement from it. So these are the sort of things that we do at Hovey's Knives of China. For now, this is Hovey Smith, reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. Here is our recently registered U.S. trademark, a look at some of our knives, a look at even more of our knives on one-inch pegboard, and some of our outdoor books. Now these include backyard deer hunting, crossbow hunting, extreme muzzleloading, and practical bow fishing. And all of these contain chapters about knives and have recipes. I'm also the author of a series of books on muzzleloading hunting, including hunting with muzzleloading shotguns and smoothbore muskets. I have more than 60 videos about the knife shop, making the knives, and cooking with the knives. And if you want to see our current catalog, you can go to the blog below. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 625 videos, you can go to www.hoviasmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.